María Isabel from Argentina. She said, Britney, we love you. Um, who are the top three hottest guys today for you? Oh, oh. <laughs> I like this question. You can talk um, about guys now. Guys that I think are hot. Three, let me see. There's so many hot guys out course, right now. Yeah, I, I cannot imagine. choose three. <laughs> well, no, but three that, I mean, they have to be famous, I think, because so everybody knows okay. what we're talking about. You're um, going to say that these guys, you know, behind here, the camera, they're hot. <laughs> Probably. Over there with someone. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Brad Pitt's really cute. I think he's you like, like him? yeah, he's amazing. He's just, I like how he's so chiseled and rugged looking. He's mm -hmm. very sexy. Um, who else do I think is cute? I think Ben Affleck is really cute. Oh, yeah. He's a cute. Yeah. And, um, Have you ever met him? Met them? Um, I've met Ben Affleck, but I haven't met Brad Pitt before. Oh, I would die if I met him. I'd be so nervous. I would be a total goof. But you could do that. I mean, you can... Uh, I mean, no, when I meet someone that I think is really cute or I'm attracted to, I don't know what to say. I get a brain I fart and I get so nervous and shy. I'm just like, ah, I don't know what to say. But, um, and I think Justin Timberlake is really cute. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a nice. cutie. So, but, you know, uh, talking about now, we were talking about these, you know, these guys and you're talking about actors. Uh, is it true that if you have like 20 movie scripts waiting, scripts waiting for you? <laughs> I read it somewhere. I said, "Oh my God, she wouldn't have time to read them." I don't know about 20. Um, no, but two. <laughs> I would love to do a film, but my schedule for this whole year is booked. Mm -hmm. But I'll, I think next year um, there's talk of me doing a film. Probably, I think it's called Grease Three. Oh so yeah. We may do that. Yeah. Oh. Be really fun. So, but there's other, you know, scripts coming in, but that's the one that really interests me, that really sparks, you know, I really want to do that. Okay, we have another question. Alberto de Guadalajara, he said, fame has its price. What do you wish would not have changed since all your success? Something I wish has, that hasn't changed. Yeah, what do you, yeah. Well, you know what, I think that um, by becoming a celebrity, it's just one of the things that goes with it, not being able to be normal anymore and do normal things all the time. Like, you know, just going to the movies or, you know, doing normal things like that and just, um, I don't know, just normal things like that. And you can't really do that because you're a celebrity and people notice mm -hmm. you wherever you go. But that's just, like you said, that's one I of the mean, things. You, don't, you, don't you use wigs and things like that? And you yeah, but I, mean, you, I think you have to make sacrifices sometimes for things that you really want to do and love. And that's that's one of them. But, it, but it's okay, though, because, like, when I come here tonight and I perform for all these people and touch them like that, it totally makes up for it, you know. But you like it. I mean, you're not suffering. You're not those kind of artists that really suffer, you know, being famous. No, not at all. I think it's, <laughs> no, it's, I don't understand huh? why they suffer. Uh, they make a drama, you know. That's not, that's not how it is. You like Michael Jackson, that he has his own movie theater and his own park, you know, <laughs> one day. Oh. I love that about him. So, um, thank you very much. We hope to oh, see you soon you. in Latin America. Así que gracias a Britney por haber estado con nosotros. Y nos vemos, continuamos aquí en Conexión. Uh, thanks. Uh, thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>